Creating the federal budget each year is meant to be a participatory process that is carried out by Congress and that reflects your priorities. After all, the essential vision of our democracy is that the federal government protects the values of all Americans. Did you know that the president is not the most powerful voice in deciding the budget? That's because there are a number of steps to putting together the discretionary budget every year, and most of those steps actually happen in Congress. First, the president submits a budget request to Congress, which reflects input from each federal agency. Lawmakers then debate over the president's budget, and committees on the budget in both the House and Senate come up with their own budget plans. Then, appropriations committees in the House and Senate write the actual spending bills. Finally, a special committee called a conference committee convenes to resolve differences between the House and Senate plans. At last, the budget goes to the president, and once he signs it, the budget is law. What I've outlined for you in just a few sentences is actually a very complicated process that spans over several months. And in recent years, Congress has completely foregone this complicated process and instead relies on temporary spending bills called continuing resolutions and on all-inclusive spending bills called omnibus budgets. Continuing resolutions and omnibus budgets remove all opportunity for constituent input, which means your voice isn't being heard. This is not how the process is supposed to work, and we really need to hold our lawmakers accountable, because no matter your priority, the federal budget affects you. For more about the federal budget process, check out Federal Budget 101 on MPP's website at nationalpriorities.org.